good morning happy signing day i just got out of the shower and my podcast goes live in like 35 minutes all right my hair is pretty much dry so we're going to style it i'm going to use my like beach waver thing so <laughs> hopefully that will stay all day i I was gonna just straighten it, but I feel like doing something fun, so let's go. We're halfway there with the hair, and then I realized that I did not post anything. I What's just, your favorite part of the makeup bar? I didn't post anything at 8 o'clock when the podcast went live. I have a post, and I need to post for it. Okay, that's that. Okay, it's definitely a little crazy, mostly just on this side because I just finished this side. I need to grab my bobby pins and like pin the front and back a little bit. But there we are. There's the hair. I need to do makeup real quick and then get dressed and go get breakfast and coffee and then go to the event. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm nervous. I like. I had a friend that I was going with last time. Like, I literally went to Book Bonanza with Kayla. So this time I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I don't really know anybody. Uh, so it's kind of nerve wracking, but I won't like have anyone that I'm like, hey, like in the middle. I mean, there's like a couple people I think from like TikTok that like I watch their videos, I think are going, but other than that, just. <laughs> I don't know and I, this is gonna be such a small thing like I don't even think tickets have fully sold out like I it's so gonna be so different from book bonanza and I'm just like I don't know what to expect so we'll definitely compare and contrast with how book bonanza was so look forward to that all right here we are I'm so excited okay wait but actually let me show you the outfit as far as I'm dressed. So I just have this little v-neck, my ripped black jeans, and then I'm going to wear my white shoes that I got for Book Bonanza and then forgot to get the correct socks for. So I now have the correct socks and I'm hoping that they don't hurt my feet, but I'm gonna take my other pair and keep them in the car just in case. Okay. Let's go get some food. So let's talk about what's in my cart. I have extra Sharpies. One of these Kindle sleeves that I made. It says Fiction Addiction. It's kind of metallic. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it. These are my business cards that aren't really business cards. I have another little Sharpie. And then I have letters that spell read. I made sure that the Sharpie will write on them. And it does, looks kind of stupid, but it'll look better once it's signed. I'm paranoid, so I printed a copy of my ticket. And then I also printed a copy of the seating chart. I noted that Allie Styles only has 10 copies of her new book. Sierra Simone's over here. That's all of the ones I've actually read, LOL. <laughs> I have so many new to me authors that we're gonna meet today. I showed them in the last vlog, but here are my business cards. Can we focus? Here are my business cards. They're so fun. But there's downtown Oklahoma City. It's so small. Well, here we are, kind of. I know they're having a festival somewhere down here, so I think this might be it. We are here! I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult to find parking than it was especially because like right beside the Omni is some kind of event going on so we're here let's let's go let's freaking go oh my god I'm so nervous but like so excited at the same time <laughs> look at this we're here Date. I am so lost. We are here on the top floor of the convention center. I have not seen a single soul since I've been in here. <laughs> it feels like I'm not supposed to be in here. I need to get on the Facebook group and find out where registration is because I'm lost. 
somebody else has to have asked the same question, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, hi besties! Welcome back! That was wild. Not as wild as Book Bonanza. Okay, so there were people that parked right beside me and I got too nervous. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm going to go to Subway. I spent way more than I planned on. I spent over $100 on books today and I wasn't planning to buy any. I was just gonna get my little letter signed and be happy, but at least for Vegas, I literally cannot buy more than like a couple from like my absolute must-haves. South Robinson Avenue. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Oklahoma City. Okay, besties, we're back. I came and got Subway um, because I did not feel like going to like a diner or anything. Because I'm exhausted, I have not eaten since this morning. And, oh my god, the signing was so much fun. Very different vibes than Book Bonanza, for sure. Very different vibes. Um, very chill. So chill. Um, they didn't have official lines, they didn't have wristbands, nothing. Highly recommend. If you didn't get a ticket to Book Bonanza, definitely try to go to a smaller event. It wasn't chaotic at all. I mean, there was a lot less people there. I'm talking a fraction of what went to Book Bonanza. Really, the only person that had a long, long line, like all day, until like the end, was Sierra Simone. Obviously. <laughs> um, I feel like that's a pretty given. Um, but other than that, you could just walk up to any table. Like, if there was a line, there was maybe like three people in front of you. So, much different. Um, I think I'm gonna do a whole podcast, maybe a video podcast, I don't know. Uh, maybe a YouTube video on the differences between, um, the events that I've been to so far because they were vastly different. But yeah, I just kind of like blacked out at the event again. Um, I did see Carrie um, that I saw at Book Bonanza and met her at Book Bonanza. Sorry again, I had no idea she was coming. So hey, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, I also met Amanda Mant from TikTok. She was literally in an author's line and I was across the aisle at another author's line. And then um, I forget which author it was, but whatever author it was, Amanda had left a book there. <laughs> and so she like ran, went over and gave it to her and then she's like, oh my God, <laughs> and like came up and saw me. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, I don't have plans to leave the Airbnb tonight. I might if someone wants to do something. Um, I know Amanda had said maybe doing dinner after the event, but I actually didn't see her other than that one time at the event, and it was so so tiny, so we must have been like on opposite sides. I don't know. I'm gonna eat, so 